Remove two cards. Small deck. Small little deck. Should I change the camera angle though? Because I'm not sure. Like, I'm not sure how I feel about the fact that I'm, I'm, I'm when I'm looking at chat, I'm looking away. What's up, Booster? What's up, Isotope? It gig, thanks for Twitch Prime. I appreciate it, man. Welcome to the germ pool. I got you, Say when I got that. I got the I got the seed right there. I'll check it out. Let's see how the Among Us is circulating, percolating. And no one's not. All of a sudden no one wants to play Among Us. That's crazy. Did we did we miss the the jump? Let me see. I'll ask somebody else actually. Nah, I haven't. I haven't seen. Uh... I was gonna try Genshin Impact. So Genshin Impact is this new open world RPG, or whatever that some of my friends are playing. I haven't checked that. Look at this. Uh, this seed is kind of whack in terms of uh, elites, huh? In terms of elites, it is a little bit wacky. Alright, so it looks like we're going to have to fight an elite early. In which case, how do I want to get an ass kicked? Free to play. Yeah, free to play games are a little bit like... I don't know. I'm going to check it out. We'll see if you like it. Um, it's probably going to be grindy. Some people are calling it Breath of the Waifu. It's kind of funny. So let's check it out. Let's go this way because this has a shop. and I'm going to need the shop to do the elite. Defects one of my favorite characters. People ask me what's my favorite character. Well, quite simply, whatever character I'm playing at the moment it has to be my favorite. But I really do love defects. I remember when the defect came out, I did a lot of brainstorming about how to make it good and how to play it right. And then they changed a lot of cards. But the love remained. And also, we got a lot of money for the shop now. So what's the best thing that could help me in Elite? Well, I'll tell you what. Glacier and Ori Calcum are kind of... Uh, Sick. Yeah, I've done Hades. I play, I've been playing Hades in the beta for a long time. Glacier and Orichalcum are pretty sick for the Elite, but I don't have damage. But even then, Glacier or Orichalcum is kind of sick. I mean, here's the thing. Just because the game is free to play, it doesn't mean it's like an automatic no-go. I don't necessarily buy into that either. I mean, everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but... Let's get, let's get the, the poop. And that was honestly a really good Act 1. So we got Orichalcum... Glacier, and we got rid of our curse. They removed Axe Strike, they removed Prime, they removed a lot of things. Reprogram? Yeah, reprogram is uh, something else. They got, definitely gotta fix that one, huh? I need damage, so I'm thinking I take Tempest, but Barrage can do damage as well. Tempest is not bad, honestly, with the fact that I have Orichalcum. Uh, this is a free run because we have uh, Frost and we have Orichalcum, so this should be free. Hashtag should be free. I'm down to 1v1, Bendis. I'm glad you're here. I was asking for you. Yeah, I'm down to 1v1, buddy. This is going to ruin my Orichalcum, so I'll do that. I love it. Maybe that wasn't the best, actually. How about this? I'll just take 5 damage. Save the potion. There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, let's try to fix this camera angle though. Hey, Vettis, take your time, buddy. Stream. Do your, do your thing, buddy. Don't worry about it. Do you live your life? And what what happens is uh As soon as you're done we can do one v one. I'm gonna do a run, it's runs gonna take about an hour maybe. Runs taking about an hour, even when I'm going fast. Don't worry about it. I could have saved a life there actually. Maybe that's I might come back to bite me in the ass. <clears throat> I haven't tried the new Hades point with zero though. So Hades did get a full release. I haven't tried that yet. 
Also, I'm very grateful this elite went so smooth, all things considered. And now it's looking like a great one, Act 1, and to be honest, our defense is done. Our defense is completely solved. And now it just comes down to getting offense. Our offense is extremely bad. It's terrible. Uh, that could help our offense because we can get like a barrage, a common card. What else can we do? To, uh, we need ball lightning that could help our offense too, right? And who's the... We have a lot of good options here. This could help our offense. If we do this zap plus in conjunction with capacitor, then our offense is looking a little bit better. The, the four blades of Hades is so beautiful. I'm going to check it out. I've been following the game for a while now. All smooth stone with the fact that Orikaka, I mean, okay... At the moment, it feels awkward, but... This would come super big handy. I love our deck right now. Technical, te technically support TV with the Twitch Prime. Appreciate it, man. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Much appreciated. Welcome back. Oh, Nate's interested. Let's go, Nate. All right, we got some offense. Let's go. Please give, give me legs back. I have to go pee. They don't have legs right now. Let's have Ninetail. Forgot August. Ain't no worries, man. To be honest, the way it looked like, I looked like I forgot August, too. I should have saved life there, honestly. I'm, t I'm being a little reckless. The one thing I can say is that when you play, when you haven't played this game in a while, am I good for skim? I think I am because I have um, Happy Flower, and skim's gonna be great for Act Two. You don't have legs right now. What's going on? What's going on with your legs? I know that you got recently engaged. I don't remember anything about your legs. Cataplexy. Let me Google this. I'm a little bit of a noob. Oh. That's interesting. Do you have narcolepsy? I guess FTL is good for offense as well. Next year, I got a clutch. I got to beat the heart with the first three characters so I could use the beta art. I beat it before, but I don't know what happened. If you if you already beat it, you can change the the files and the text files and get everything for free. I got a clutch uh, shop before three boss and got published from all frost blizzard deck. Beat the heart. Oh, let's go! Congrats, Scotty. You have a super rare form of cataplexy. I'm sorry to hear that. So our offense is good, but I'm really I'm sorry. Our defense is great. I'm really worried about our offense here. Really worried. Wait. <laughs> no, 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 no. Go to attention one is way too much work. What do you mean? It's comparatively less work to just edit the, the files. It's not even close. It's not even close. Grinding out again for attention one is a hassle. Alright, let's get our offense. We need to get as much lightning as possible. Did I just set a display in the game? Alright. Here, for the sake of... I can make it real simple for you. I need to go as much damage as possible, so I'm gonna do this. Our offense is... I mean, our defense is really good. Full body process, except her eyes can't move or talk anywhere from 15 to 60 minutes. Both body parts guys come back during the time frame. That sounds horrifying. Grab, tell somebody to give you a bucket and a mop. Uh, 
Oh, we got some energy. I like. I, okay, I think coldest pot is gonna be really good for our um, energy needs. Ooh, rainbow is really good to give us some dark and some. Like, we have a lot of orb slots, so that's a good way to just get our orb slots filled. In fact, I might even upgrade this. I think this is gonna be clutch. The red, the, the run is not gonna go bad. Don't worry. This, this is already a win. Do I, do I think I need the dark or now that is the? Uh, do I, do I need this coldest or is my dark potion enough? Is my dark going to be enough damage, or should I go for... Let's, let's take no damage. Alright, our deck's beautiful now. I don't want to lose a buffer. That's awkward. Excuse me, miss. Oh, we frosted out of our mind, baby. Let's go. Let me move the camera a little bit. better yo paradox with the twitch prime let's go with the title one i like it buddy hey how you doing buddy are you gonna play genshin impact or is it just red it's just flabio thank you for twitch prime buddy Appreciate you. Perfect boss. Ooh, we got electrodynamics. Honestly, I think I could get away with Black Star because we have Happy Flower, we have Lantern. Oh, you're almost ring sixteen. You've been you've been low key about it. Okay, you're like not even you're not flexing, but you've been grinding your ass off. Honestly, I like Pandora's box as well. Our deck is so good. Our base deck is so good. I would say Pandora's box, get rid of all the crap and give me some good stuff. But we, I think we can get away Black Star. Although this deck wouldn't want energy because of Rainbow and Electro and all these things. But, like I said, I do got Lantern and Happy Flower. Nah, I don't use the glitch. I won my first Ascension 20 run last night. Let's go. Congratulations. The Bear Toe. Up until Ascension 19, I had some steady progress, but now I'm on a 40 game loss to just finish Act 3 of either Southern or Ironclad. I'm reaching here, but did you experience the same thing? Any tips? Um. What's up, uh, Sweet Chef? Now, Ascension 20, you're talking about the heart? Yeah, I had a little bit of trouble at first. It, it's a big curve, so... <laughs> the reason why Ascension 20 streaks and all that stuff are kind of impressive is because... The game is drastically different from Ascension 15 and Ascension 20. It's a whole different beast. Any tips? You gotta make your decks better. You gotta make better decisions. You gotta do fights cleaner. I know it sounds... It sounds like... A draw an owl and now the owl is done that kind of instruction, but that's the truth man You just got to make sure your deck is Comparatively that much better faster cleaner. You got to make sure that you're not taking unnecessary risks or unnecessary damage You got to play the fights better. You got to be better with your potions You got to maybe take more risks if you're not taking enough It's, it's not there's not a simple tip to give you Just win forehead basically Maybe maybe some of my dis maybe some of my decisions some of my decisions I can help you out. So maybe what you can do is follow along some of my gameplay and see what you would do and then see what I do instead and or any streamer of your choice and that can help you kind of. So there's two ways to watch. You can watch a stream passively or actively. If you're actively looking, you're basically saying, okay, in this situation, I would make this decision, and then you see the decisions I make and kind of see the difference there. And if you actively watch somebody, you can get better much faster. And that, that goes from life in general. I mean, I'm not going to be like a, a life guy, but like if actively versus passively watching and learning is is the key. It's the key. Eliabe. All right, so Pandora's Box is fun. We know that. 
Do we want to have fun or do we want to go for... Black Star is kind of fun too. Let's do it. Let's go for Relics Black Star, baby. We have a block deck and our damage is getting a little bit better. All right, guys. So let's go see how many elites we can do. Got one over here. One over here. We got three elites. Let's go. I'm not even going to think about it. Just kidding. I'm thinking about it. So I can go over here, take a little bit safer path where I can go for the shop, go for the elite, elite, elite. I'm doing it. Black Star, baby. This guy's going to kick my ass already. Oh, wow. I just wanted one damage on that guy in the back. Just one damage, sir. Ha. Ah. Well, we're going to need Sustain Relic. I'm going to need to see Stain Relic, the house, down, boots. Yeah, I love capacitors. I just need to, I just need to get a Sustain Relic here. Woo! I say no more. Say yes, say yes, say yes. Baby. Let's get to it. Yeah. Beam feels actually really good here. Our damage is really good now. Our damage is really good. We are online. We are so online is unbelievable. We are so online, it's incredible. I still need sustain though. Instead of capacitor, now let's get more frost going because all I care about is dark here. It's just this is a glorified uh, dark deck. Taking damage, now let's get this out of the deck. Then I was gonna do barrage, but. The setup, the setup lethal or dark. And we got Happy Flower on perfect. Happy Flower is perfect. Oh, it's gorgeous. We're going to have a huge first turn. Recycle is actually quite good. I can recycle out some of the bad stuff like Strike and uh, the defense. Right? But I might hold off on Recycle. I mean, Recycle is quite good. Who's the boss? Recycle is quite good. But I don't get enough card draw. I have Skim in the deck. So that's something. If I had a little bit more card draw, I think recycles a little bit better. Um, because if I have recycle, then I, I, I'm doing it. I think recycle is a very good card, guys. Very good. And now we have damage on the first turn with this. I could transform two strikes, or I can get a mutagenic strength, which sometimes could actually be three strength for a whole fight, which is absolutely massive. Let's go ahead and leave this. Let's go see what elite we got. All right, I think we should have good odds here. I'm going to go ahead and use a, a potion right away. And I think I actually want to play double glacier right away as well. I don't want to take any risks. So what I want to do, get my defense coming, get my strength going, and just try to barrage one of these guys down. And hopefully get electrodynamics ASAP. All right, we're about to get vulnerable. This is going to be very bad, but we got Barrage. Whew. Could have been bad, but boy, did it get saved. Got to survive one more vulnerable. Alright, could be worse. Could be worse, could be worse. 
Beautiful. All right, we won. Let's see what Blackstar has to offer now. What does Blackstar got in store for us? Happy Flower got wasted, unfortunately. Okay, we got sustain. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Another capacitor. I don't know, sir. I mean, capacitor is great, but two, three? Ay, ay, ay. Cold snap, I don't mind either, honestly. Another cold snap is fine here. All right, let's get this upgraded. Let's get barrage upgraded as well. Reprogram. Ooh, that's a lot of gold. Is there a shop? There's a shop up there. You think it's worth it to take a regret and go for a shop right here? Can I beat an elite with regret in the deck? That's a lot of gold, guys. Wallace, thanks for the follow, buddy. Oh, Wallace. Hey, talk to me, buddy. You want to play some Among Us? I have two, two people ready. Oh, you already joined. Ah, let me give you a tag, buddy. You joined the Discord. Let me give you that tag. Can we be two elites of regret? That's the question. We got through the slavers. We have really good defense. Can we do it? One sec, let me fix let me fix some of the Discord stuff. Nah, so when you say maybe that's what happens. Uh, I'm gonna ask Among Us again. Alright, let's see let's see if we get some more Among Us type. I would, I would like to play some Among Us today. I wouldn't mind. All right, let's let's let's, uh, let's not let's not trifle with ooh, Captain's Wheel. Let's not trifle with. Uh, okay, this this runs insane. This runs insane. We're about to get another two relics. This runs insane. This runs out of control. The wounds might be a little bit bad, but nah. Once we get online, this runs out of control. That damage is impeccable as well. I can recycle the Tempest here. This run is out of control. Is it worth buffering that? Save it for another time, right? Or just get it out of the deck? I mean, wouldn't we just rather get it out of the deck? So I can get it out of the deck? Or I could block and then save buffer for another time. Do I want to draw back into buffer again? I think I don't want to draw buffer again. I want to just draw damage. Just, we don't need it in the deck. We only want to draw damage from here and out. We also don't want to die. Our damage is our lightning and our, our, our darker at the moment. Alright, we did it. Happy Flowers on Perfect. Molten Egg, okay, Ceramic Fish. Echo, oh, holy shit, Echo and Seek. Wow, wow. Echo's been fantastic. Okay, but Seek is really good too because I can get my capacitors from nah, it's Echo form, but Jesus. I'm okay with keep resting because if I keep resting, I'm getting relics from these. I'm getting du double the price, so this is, this is totally fine. Ooh. Why is this so tough? Got capacitor turn one. I also have glacier. I. Am I supposed to just do rainbow here? Am I supposed to get rid of glacier and then do capacitor rainbow? I don't. I don't get rid of glacier. Do I? 
I can get rid of Glacier and play a, a dual, dual cast. Now the Dark's too important. The Glacier is huge though. I think the Dark's too important. I can win with Barrage, but I think the Dark's too important here. But getting rid of Glacier seems like a grief. We have Frost in other ways though. Yeah, maybe getting rid of the glacier was a grief. We, okay, we should be—we have electro damage. We should be able to f handle this. Double frost or double this. Okay, the problem is we're gonna die next turn. We're gonna die to this big attack unless. So I'm having a brain fart. I just need to heal though. I think me doing double electro is probably. Oh, White Beast is huge. White Beast is so big with Tori. That's how we survived the run. Oh, okay. Oh, that's. that's oh my god. We got an orange plus and we got a barrage. What the fuck? We also have an anchor. Wait, we need to buy potions. Like, I need to buy focus pot, I think, to survive this next thing. Like, I need to buy focus pot, maybe this. Also, maybe moving an extra strike. If I move an extra strike, the deck's much better. Focus pot, remove an extra strike. But orange pellets is huge. The collector buffer. The orange pellets for the collector buff is probably just. It's gotta be done. And we do need to buy potions though for the sustain. But we should be able to do this though. Like buying focus pot would basically, but I think getting rid not only is this amazing, but now we can also keep. We can keep three um strength, which is also fantastic. Oh, 
I don't get to play Electro. Oh, that's so awkward. Like, Electro is so good for this fight. But... But... But it's... But I mean, like, it's Echo Form. But it's Echo Form. Double Rainbow versus Double Glacier. I gotta get rid of some stuff. I need to save. I need to save a power for this right here. I. I fuck. My block is really bad right now. I got a power. I got a power, but I can't play rainbow. Is double frost better? Or double capacitor better? Double capacitor is like... I'm only getting one extra orb slot out of it. I'm only getting one extra orb slot out of it. Yeah, I didn't get to keep you three. So if I, if I, if I don't want to lose Echo Form, right? So I could have had three strength and I could have had Electrodynamics first, but I don't want to lose. Um... It's awkward. I don't want to, I don't want to draw into Electrodynamics. Okay, that was close. All right, and we should be drawing to Glacier soon. Double Electro, I think double Buffer to stay alive. I think it's double buffer to stay alive. Electro's so important though. Fuck. I have Glacier coming up. I have Glacier coming up. Buffer is important to stay alive, but with Glacier coming up, I should be fine. If I didn't draw Glacier there, I, I'm dead. But Electro saves the fight. All right, not bad. And now, honestly, our act act three is gonna be fantastic. Our deck's fantastic. Everything's fantastic. We're in great shape. GG. GG. Thunderstrike or Amplify? To be honest, Thunderstrike is actually kind of low-key cute in this deck. But I think our damage is good just Barrage, right? With Barrage Echo Form, we should be good. But Thunderstrike is low-key kind of cute. It's expensive, though. It is expensive. Let me get some water. I don't know if we need Amplify. Can I even play Meteor Strike? There's sometimes, if I get Energy Relic, I can play Meteor Strike. And Meteor Strike is actually pretty good, actually. So Meteor Strike, I said actually twice, but whatever. Meteor Strike, not only is it Recycle Fodder sometimes, but I can sometimes play it with Happy Flower or Lantern if I get Energy Relic as well. And that can give me tons of energy, but I don't know if, what, what I need the energy for. I don't know, it's awkward. Amplify could be useful. We have a lot of powers, but we have Echo Form already. Amplified Orange Palace feels good. He said enough. That's all he needs to say. <gasps> we have Sneko Eye, but the problem is with Orange Palace, we get rid of the Sneko. <gasps> I have some alerts on. Did I miss it? I didn't get the, the thing, Justice. Thank you for the resub if you sub, buddy. So Sneko was insane with the fact that we just had Meteor Strike offered. This is an insane seed, by the way. But, uh... 
the fact that I have orange pellets is awkward. We're doming it up. Nah, getting rid of the confusion is not a good thing. I mean, we still get two card draw, which is fantastic. Don't get me wrong. The fact that we get two card draw is fantastic. And I can also, like... I could choose when I'm gonna use the, uh... When I'm gonna, like, get rid of the Snaggle Confusion, so it's not the worst. I mean, it might have been the play, honestly. It might have been the play to just, um... Take Snaggle anyways. Running Dome is big boss, but I think we can, we can manage Running Dome. Only problem is I don't know if the heart's gonna be multi attacking or big attack. That's be it's gonna be a substantial problem. We're not taking damage, are we? I don't need echo form for this. Like, it, in the world that we might be taking damage, why risk it? You know what I'm saying? In that world, why risk it? We we wasted our happy flower. It sucks. Mummified hand. We have we have black stars. So Mummified hand is big possibility. We got self prepare for sustain. We also have ornithopter, compounder for card draw, which I think is going to be good. I think compounder for card draw is going to be fantastic. There's also hologram, which is really good as well to bring back powers I might have missed. Glacier. The fact that I can bring glacier back is quite good. Cold snap plus is interesting. I think the card draw compile is too good though. It's, those are hard options, honestly. That's Panagraph. Uh, that's Panagraph's too good. Sorry, guys. I can't blue key that. Panagraph is just too good in Ascension 20. I cannot blue key that. Why is this late extension not working? It's not. You guys can hover and see. That's weird. FTL. FTL is pretty good to proc uh, pellets. This is a decent relic. There's a shop right here, but this is a decent relic, honestly. So maybe the maybe the thing is down today. Maybe it's, maybe it's just down today. This is okay for 150 gold. This is pretty decent relic, honestly. But there's a shop coming up, and I, I might need to buy potions to stay alive. Now nah, I, I can't make enough for calipers. Okay, this shop. I think I buy this. I think I buy this. Oh, there's a shop here, anyways. In the bone. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's two shops. That's two wasted squares. That, that feels really bad. That feels really, really bad. I need to get my um, top, my. There they are. I need to get the rainbow going. I need the rainbow going like last turn. Uh, I should have done cold spot for this. Why? Why did I even hesitate? I shouldn't call the pot like in the beginning of this fight. What am I doing? Call the pot should have been done. Do I want amplify here? Go for the damage. So I get rid of my frost and go for the big damage here. Yeah, I should have called this by way earlier, guys. Because I need barrage to carry me here. I 
need to do dual cast and then barrage again. I have to do liquid members and barrage again. Genetic algorithm. I think I can get good value out of genetic, but it's a little late. I still need front loaded block like that though. Ooh, this next path is looking kind of bad because I saved I saved this for last. This elite for last. This is the next spot. This next fight. This path looks kind of rough. I would like mind bloom. If I get mind bloom, I can get a nice pantograph and another rare relic. Um. I'm thinking genetic would be good, but I don't know if I can stack it up in time. We have echo form, so we can try to stack it up. What's the best I can get it to if I'm like taking into account all the things that could happen? I think I can get just like 15. Because it's upgraded, so it's like 4, 7, 11, 15. I can get up to like 15 or higher. All right, I'm gonna do it, but I do gotta be mindful of all the random crap I'm putting into my deck. We lost this, 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 okay. All right, not much I can do about that. I have to rest here. All right, and then I gotta recall at the next next campfire. I'm not really upgrading. I need to upgrade defrag badly. Well, that's a tough one to lose. That's a tough one to lose. I should have kept the three strength, right? If I play a skill, I should have kept the three strength there. Um, I need to get defrag upgraded like yesterday. I need defrag upgraded yesterday. I need buffer upgraded as well. Actually, I need buffer upgraded and defect upgraded yesterday. This is rough. Get the double genetics, that's not bad. I actually ruined my damage by doing that because I needed that for. Uh, oh, never mind. Never mind. I take it all back. Stone calendar. Go plated. Oh my god. Okay. That was huge. It's been a long time, Loggy. What's up? How you doing, buddy? How you been? What's up? What's, what's hilarious? Is it going to be boot? Creative AI, guys. Creative AI with the fact that I have pellets. So things like. Hmm. Is it getting too crazy though? Can I really afford to play all these things? It feels like I have a lot of cards. I don't know if I can play it all. Yeah, I definitely need to upgrade buffer badly. I definitely need to upgrade defrag as well. Yeah, I know about the bootman. Is creative at too slow? It can, it can guarantee a win condition against the time. No, the time meter should be fine. No, it can guarantee a win condition against the time meter. Wait, Rocket League went free to play? Holy shit! Rocket League is a great game. That's sick. Uh, unfortunately, I have to recall, so I can't get any of the upgrades I'm looking for. Unless I go over here, maybe I get some lucky with these events. Like, I look for Mind Bloom, right? Or even then, Mind Bloom is not gonna be the solution. Creative AI, yeah, it can win some fights. Like, okay, so does it, does it help me do things that I currently can't do? So, against the heart. Does it help me or does it clog me? I think it clogs me. Mind Bloom. Oh, we got Mind Bloom. Let's go. So this is a free heal. But what if I upgrade all my cards? Let's just take a look for that. I I'm probably not going to do that. I get upgraded Defrag. Upgraded Skim. Glacier. I can no longer heal though. Eek. That's always this.
Got some strength. Let's go. Nah, it's always this. No rainbow, unfortunately. But we do have stone calendar. Oh, we keep getting genetic twice. That's kind of pog. How much does he do first attack? Is it 46? I forget, guys. How much does he do? 46, yeah? I played how many hours? It's 36. 38. Wow, everybody's giving me different numbers. Hyperflower stacked up, right? Mmm! Tungsten rod's huge! Tungsten rod's huge. Bros, that would help my damage a lot, considerably. What's up, uh, Daygog? How you doing, buddy? Your tungsten rod, uh, bros, that could help my damage considerably, I feel like, but. Nah, we don't need it. Tungsten rod's huge, guys. I gotta, I gotta hope that draw to a skill. You guys ready? Skill. Skill. Oh, the skill was recycle. Duh. Don't hurt me. Holy shit. Don't hurt me. 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 Thank you. But now I'm scared I'm going to get a... So, I don't know if I'm going to get a curse. So, here's what's going to happen. No curse? Easy. Alright, this is like... No curse. I should have just done Blessing of the Forge and ended the fight. If I got a curse from this, it's because I didn't use Blessing of the Forge. Thank you. Double genetic. Oh my god. The genetic is getting huge. Speed pot. We got speed pot against the heart with pellets. Okay, I think we win, boys. Speed pot against the heart with pellets. Uh, we're going to win, guys. We also have Essence of Darkness for our damage. Alright, we got everything we need, guys. This run is insane. Alright. Now, do I go for another Elite for Black Star? I think I do. I was going to go for the events, but now nah, we're good. No attack here. I need attack first turn to get that little pellets. I also need a, I need a hologram. I need a hologram Bally. The other two boss were for... Um, nah, I've, I've been taking... I take dumb quite a bit, actually. I cry every time. The other relics were, um... Snekowai and Choker. But I already had pellets when I found Snekowai and Choker. I cry every time there. Hope everyone's like, hey, Rich Church, appreciate it, man. Hope you're having a great day as well, man. Double genetic or double capacity? What do you guys think? I don't even have echo form out. What am I talking about? Whoo! Buffer is doing work, I tell you. Without echo form, my deck is really bad, guys. 
Without that confirm, I think I lose, to be quite frank. There's a big chance I just lose Valka form. There's a barrage here. I need barrage to hit. There's a big chance I'm just dead here, actually. Fifty-two. Fifty-two plus forty-eight. A hundred, a hundred plus thirteen, one thirteen, one thirteen plus, um, thirty-six, a hundred forty-nine. It's a hundred forty-nine. Hundred forty-nine plus an extra nine nine. Uh, if I the. Would that stupid mean plus make a difference? 68. I'm actually short 6 damage. I'm short 6 damage. Because I was going to do Essence of Darkness to evoke everything. Yeah, the potion thing. So basically what that basically says is that this gives me a potion chance. And it just says that... What the, You see what the info says here? Alright, how about this? Real quick, let's get this done. So... That, I can stop procrastinating. One sec. How do you add command again? I keep forgetting, guys. Alright, can I just like... Can I keep it on this screen? Can you stay on that screen please? Uh... Yeah! I might be I might be dead here guys. Do I have to do Essence of Darkness to stay alive? How much damage does this guy do at this point? He has 10 strength. I might be dead here. I'm i I'm dumb. Forget everything I said. I'm the dumbest man alive. I've got double speed pot. Oh my lord. Um, how about this? Let me, let me, let me screenshot this. I'm trying to screenshot it, but it's not working. Never mind. Alright, let's get Echo Form early. That would be ideal. More Frost or Discover Damage. I should have maybe waited on the buffer, honestly. Alright, okay, but can you just write this, though? Alright, I guess we, yeah, this is fine. This is fine. 
They're just fine. They're totally fine. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate you. I don't want to do draw here because if I draw into Echo Form, it's going to suck. Alright, we gotta start doing work now. Hell yes. So your argument got really big. Nah, what you said is perfectly fine. It's fine. Genetic's getting big, but we're also taking a lot of damage here. Do we ever do essence here for this fight? Nah, Brosh can tarry, carry his home, right? Brosh will carry his home. Right? We need to upgrade defrag yesterday, guys. Does Brosh carry his home? I'm not so sure. No, it's not a cheat. It's not a cheat. It's just info. It basically says, like, instead of doing the math where 10% less, 10% more, it keeps track of it. This is all stuff that is in... I mean, do you think things that help you keep track of information is a cheat? I don't know if I consider that a cheat. Um... Do we ever just do Essence of Darkness, get it out of the way, and save some life here? Because I'm going to have to recall. It saves six life. Essence of Darkness saves six life. I need to get the vulnerable here. I also need to use the bathroom. Um, Barrage does how much damage? Does Jeez, we got Mango, which is huge. We got Bottle Tornado, which is even huger. Jesus Christ. We got Creative AI. Oh, my. You bring up, you bring up a good point, right? Um, so if a guy was doing mental math for the odds, he's not considered cheating, but the casino wouldn't like him around. So, and this is comparatively, like 10% is a much easier calculation to make. We got a Bottle Defrag, but Defrag needs to be upgraded. Now we upgraded, we actually we got a bottle echo form, but echo form is super important, but we also have Lantern to play it. Problem is, do we want creative AI in the deck? Or are we already struggling to play cards? I think our deck already has too much to scale. We do echo form though. We have a skill with chill, we have, all we need is get an attack and we're good. If we get attacked, then we're actually fantastic. I got a recall, let's go. Bottle me daddy. Okay, thank you. We didn't get an attack though. So that's awkward. He could be attacking first turn. Uh, if I got an attack, we get to get three strength, basically. I don't know if he's attacking first turn. N typically he does, yeah? Or am I crazy? Doesn't this time meter. So time meter does one or two things. Alright, this is sort of cheating. So he actually doesn't attack ever? Or doesn't tell me the order? Doesn't tell me the order? Ancient Potion is useless because I have orange bullets. So 
So he did the, um, he reverberate. And he never does reverberate twice, right? Between uh, Ripple, Reverberate, has them. Except Ripple and Hesper cannot be used twice in a row. So Ripple can be used twice. He can't, he can't do the double vulnerable stuff, but he, could do, he can't do Hesper twice in a row. And Reverberate can't be used three times in a row. I'm actually learning how to like play the, learn the bosses better. Because if I learn the bosses better, I think Shrieking is going to be massive. So he just did head slam. No, he did reverberate again. So he can't do reverberate again. So now he's either going to do reverberate. No, sorry. He's either going to do ripple or head slam. So he's either going to block for 20 or he's going to do 32 damage. So let's try to block for 32. And we already have a, a decent upgrade or a decent start towards that. There's a chance that he blocks for 2. I mean, blocks for 20. I want to draw into um, Glacier, but at this point... Alright, so now he got that. So now, he can't do that again, so he's either going to do Reverberate or Head Slam. And, so that means he's either going to do, like, with the, I need to get rid of the Vulnerable, so he's going to do 30 damage or 32 damage. So, no, 32 damage or 34 damage? No, 30 or 34. So... And now we're taking 30, 34 damage. Uh, the last strike was not necessary, my bad. She took 30. Actually, none. I'll just show here. So now he could do 30 again or 34. He could also just do a ripple, which is blocking. I never tracked the timing before. Now I'm actually learning to track the timing, and I feel it's so much nicer. Nah, the Twitch extension should be there. Apparently, it's not working for some people. So maybe there's an update that needs to be required. This is my main source of damage. I'm gonna do double buffer here and just chill. Actually, I want to sit on all frost here, because we do have gold plated. So he just did what was that? He just did head slam. So he can e he's either gonna do block or reverberate. Okay, I want to get this out of my deck. Does he get that in my deck? I, I, I just enter. Alright, so now he's gonna either do head slam or reverberate. So we're looking at upwards of um, 45 damage, which I need to block. And I can only play two cards. I got rid of my dark, but there's more dark, but that's coming from. So we block 45, no problem. There's actually even more. I think I need Rimmer to get more dark, but I don't want to get rid of all my frosts. So currently we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, we have 11, 11, 44, plus 4 is 48. We block a 48, plus 6. Um, we block a 54 by doing nothing. I don't want to, I kind of don't want to ruin that, so. I want to just do that. And now we block for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Alright, 8, 32. Block for 38 now by doing nothing. Which is not as good. This is this is important though. I think getting rid of defense is pretty good here. Start thinning out the deck. Now we start eating to end. Although, when I am vulnerable, I will take damage. So I can take damage here. So if I do lecture, I can prevent the damage all altogether. Although I guess I have buffer. I have buffer. So I either waste a buffer or I get rid of the vulnerable. On the side of my deck, anyways, I guess. Now I have to. This can take so hard to get all the frost back for the dark. This probably wasn't worth it. Probably wasn't worth it. I 
At least it says something dark up like that, though. Is Barrage better than Double Glacier here? To get all the... We have buffers, so we can be aggressive. I totally forgot that he was doing that. I'm so stupid. I totally forgot he was doing that. Uh, my brain's not in it right now. My brain is not in it right now. Whoops. Whoops. All right, let's get the Epithar perfectly. Pentagraph is huge. We got an attack as well. We got Electro as well. I wish I could play capacitor as well, but... Beautiful. Let me see, I'm still down in the game. I'm at... Oh, it's finished, let's go. The download's finished. Pog. We're gonna try getting some impact today, I guess. Try this shit out. I need my capacitor. I need my capacitor yesterday. I also need some holograms. I mean, the deck can still win, but it's missing some stuff. It's missing a few things. How bad is the grind? It's important that I stack this up. I mean, I need to do buffer. To be honest, I need to do buffer, but... I really need to do buffer, actually. Fuck, now that I think about it. I really need to do buffer there. I got so greedy with genetic outcome for the heart. I still think we don't lose. But I really need to do buffer there. We don't lose though. That's what's important. That we don't lose. The happy flower stacked. Dual cast, dual cast. Beautiful. 
We got perfect potions though for the the heart. Let's be honest. We have like okay, not 100% perfect, but we have like great damage with essence drugs. We have great dexterity. So these dexterity pots means I should try to keep my my defense around. I have a decent amount of gold for the shop as well. Honestly, feel good. I, I got upgrade defrag. I got upgrade defrag yesterday. Honestly, I think I can't go on without upgrading it, right? I mean, barrage is one of my main damage as well. But I feel like defrag gives me a whole extra two focus if I do echo form it. Now that makes that makes a massive difference. This gives me a, a focus pot worth of focus. Speaking of focus pots, we got Clockwork Shooter. Which, okay, Instant Sprinter's gone, unfortunate. Kunai would have been actually kind of good. A second barrage for more damage. I'm not. I'm not opposed to it, honestly. A second barrage, my damage is done, but and that might be really important for the the elite to kill the elite quickly. But would I rather remove a strike? Yes. Place a strike of a barrage, maybe, or and get a hologram as well. Can I do hologram this and remove? So then, unfortunately, we lost this, but this is irrelevant. This is irrelevant because we have pellets. So we take the hologram. And honestly, maybe we just remove and take another barrage. I feel good. Two so is irrelevant. We have we have the it's irrelevant here. I don't get an attack here, unfortunately. I want to save genetic though for hologram. Is that too much to ask for? To save this for hologram? Wait, they don't. Does he bash or fortify? He bashed first turn. It depends, right? All right, good call. Yikes. I could do double electric or I could do double sweeping beam to, to draw more cards. Double sweeping beam is probably the better option, right? Because what could it find me? Double electric is really aggressive. We do have sustain. We do have sustain with um, pantograph and we also have sustain with our potions, so... I could technically do double electric and go for damage. Sweeping Beam can give us the option to find... To find Buffer, I suppose. But then we don't play electric. Don't we always want to play electric anyways? Don't we always want to play electric anyways? Because what if Sweeping Beam is drawing one card? Ah. We're still okay. Can Barrage do some work here? Can Barrage do some work here? Or is it better to save life here? Let's just save life. But I'm not sure we're not taking as much damage as, as, as I could be right now. Um, we got the barrage, but it's on the wrong target. We got hologram, but what does hologram do for us right now? Hologram doesn't do shit for us right now. Got buffer. Buffer is not, it's not that good right here. Try this feature called Steam Readers. What's that, Grim T? How much damage do we have? If I do, if I do, if I do Capacitor, Cold Snap, Barrage. Right, so we're doing 27. 
27, 54, 64, 64 plus 9, 73, 73, I know words meant to. All right, let me think. Now, if I do capacitor, cold snap, then I have an extra thirty-six. But I need. Um. I don't have enough energy because I, I hologram is plus this is already three energy. How much is buffer saving? How much is buffer saving here? I have decent damage with barrage, but the problem is if I do dark orb. It goes to him instead. Oh no, it doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't. But it doesn't kill. I only have like 74 damage. Close up is better because it does damage. And it also gives me an extra frost, which gives me gold plated, but I, I basically I'm blocking for four instead of six. I'm blocking for four instead, but buffers already taking care of that, so this is better anyways. But So this guy's attacking, right? So that's, buffers always gonna get hit here. This guy's attacking. Pass it to direct pot, the barrage kill. It would have been six, so six times nine. It would have been 108 exactly. Yeah, it would have been. I could have done a capacitor direct pot and double barrage kill this guy. But then I'm taking this guy, this guy's attacking, no? He's not attacking. Oh wait, I didn't take any damage. But this is where I take damage, isn't it? Fuck, this is where I take damage. This is where I die, actually. Fuck, this is where I die. This is where I die for sure. Uh, that's where I die, huh? Holy shit. All right, why don't you be in a dream? Orange Pina Dream. Am I taking damage here? So I should be fine killing him, right? I should just like... I should just block just in case. Now, not only Panda Guard, but we also have Throwing Iron Thupper, so we're gonna get an extra potion plus we have Throwing Iron Thupper. I wasn't paying what the spear was doing. The spear did it the four times, though, so does he do four times twice?
He did skewer. We can never die here then. If you're ready to skewer, then we can, we can never die here, right? Fuck. He can just skewer now and we die? Oh, <gasps> some calendar. Entropic Brew is huge. Bias Cognition is huge. Holy shit. 1 HP. Bias Cognition. Entropic Brew. Oh my god. Panagraph. This run is insane. We got an attack as well. We got an attack as well. I need to save a potion for next turn. I gotta play all this stuff. But I need to save a potion for next turn. Or rather, I need to save a power for next turn. So what if I don't get a power next turn though? So I would like to have dexterity. In the event that I don't have a power next turn, I would like to get dexterity. In the event that I don't have... Oh, this is insane. Do we do snake oil here? Yeah, hopefully I get a power next turn. With Snack Oil, I should be, find, be able to find a power. Let's get game over, though. Beautiful. Beautiful. Got a power. Now, the only thing is, what do I double? This. Beautiful. Holy shit. I want to double that though. I want to double that so bad. But I had double defrag coming up. I think we just use it now. Did we just use it now? I don't die here, yeah? Wait, I'm, I'm just double checking. He only He's only doing a... Uh... Yeah, we're fine. Double Glacier, double Rainbow. Double Glacier. We can Hollerburn back Barrage, though. We can Hologram back Barrage. Rainbow's gonna be important, but like, I feel like this damage is too good, no? Wait, let's blessing this. We have more barrages where that comes from, though. We have more barrages where that comes from. Oh, that's a really good barrage, though. If I upgrade a pot, I have more vulnerable. And then if I also upgrade pot, I have a better glacier. And then I also already have a hologram. But if I do upgrade pot now, I kind of wasted it. I mean, some cost fallacy, whatever. But if I did Umkar Pot, the, the, the Vulner was really what I care about. I don't want to lose this hologram, but I guess I don't necessarily need it. I'm going to need to do damage. I'll do this. I'll do this. I'm going to upgrade that. I need to upgrade that Vulnerable, though. I still need... To get rid of the defrag though, like the double um that strike's huge. I lost a lot of focus already, but I think we should be good now. We have double barrage. That should be GG now.
Do I want to waste my genetic? I don't need to, right? How much damage is he doing? Not enough. I'm not gonna draw a hologram again but by the time this fight's over, so I might as well just do it for a strike then. We're not drawing this again. This could get bad. This could get bad here. Part of me is thinking that if I do like snack oil, then upgrade pot. I want to double draw though. He could do 90, yeah? He could be doing 90? Oh, nice. Alright. Made a couple mistakes, but whatever, we win! First run, first win, and did we finish the upgrade? We did, we finished the download of Genshin Impact.